In project five, we built this, word scramble. User given a random eight letter word and must spell sub words from there by rearranged letters. In this case, they spell a word like ally, like so. And this mostly works great with voiceover. No part of the app is inaccessible, which is great. Although that doesn't mean we can't do better. To see an obvious pain point, try adding a word again on your phone, run on your phone, add a word here, then you'll see it slide into the list row below, which is great, but then enable voiceover and tap into that list row and see what it does. And you'll realize the list rows aren't read very well. You'll see here, this will be read as a four circle image, then nothing else. You'll swipe further and it'll say ally. They are two separate elements of voiceover. Now there are a few ways of improving this, but probably the best way is to make both these things here grouped into a single element where the children are ignored by voiceover and then adding a label for the whole group with a much more natural description that you read in one go. Now our current code looks like this. Here's our loop of used words. Here's one row inside there, a H stack. And what we're gonna do is we'll fix this by making this whole H stack into a single element for voiceover to read and then apply our custom uh, label on top of that. So we'll say here for our H stack, this hat is an accessibility element like that. Uh, if you remember, you can say children.ignore if you want to. That is the default though, so you don't have to do it here. So group them together like that, so we know it's one single element. And then add a custom label here. And I'm gonna use my label as being the word first, then a comma, then the word count letters. Like that, so it's it's, in two steps. You can see here, if I have the word uh, pure, for example, it would read pure, four letters. That's a, a, a great result. Um, if you want to, another alternative is to uh, break the text up and have uh, a hint as well as a label. So a label is the, the word first and the hint is the letters. Uh, again, leave the element thing alone, that's not changing. But now the label would be just the word string directly, like so and then add a hint below like this, and that's where your word letters thing comes in. So again, remember the hint is run after a short pause anyway. So that gives the label first, then a short pause, then a four letter if you want to. Now, regardless of which approach you choose, try the game again. So you think the voice are turned on, you'll hear in this case, ramp, four letters, which is much, much better.